Hi, I'm Amby Latikas, and we're back to do some more drawing. Today I'm thinking dads, and because so many dads and uncles and brothers I know like to fish, today's drawing is going to be a fish. So have a look. You can see there's going to be a lot of detail, so we're going to get started right away. First thing you're going to need is something flat to draw on. I'm going to use my little lap desk, and I'm going to draw upside down so it looks right to you. We're also going to need a pencil, and what I like to use is a marker to darken as we go, and of course when we're finished, a whole bunch of crayons for the end of the drawing. We won't get to that part, but when we're done, we'll leave the coloring up to you. So, let's get started. Okay, let's take a clean sheet of paper, and first thing we're going to do is draw lightly. We're going to take a line, just nice and light because we're going to eventually erase that and kind of make a little V at the end. So if you can have a look at that, okay, and then we're going to take basically the outline of what a fish will look like. I'm using a goldfish as my model. There's so many different kinds of fish you could use. Let's just start there. And let's get the bottom. Okay. It's just the outline and when you get to the V, okay right here, you want to sort of just go out with what's going to be the fins. Okay, so here's what we have so far. And what we're going to do is, right above this line here, we're just going to make a little circle. Okay, you can have a look at that. And we're going to put another little circle in that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is erase the line that we first drew. That was just sort of to help us make the basic shape. You don't really need it anymore. And if I'm moving too fast for you, you're going to put me on pause. You're going to catch up to where we are. And then when you're ready, you're going to turn me back on. Okay. So I'm going to take my marker and start to darken what we have so you can see it a little bit better. But I'm not going to do this part right here, okay, in the very front where the eye is. I'm going to leave that for now because we want to do the mouth, okay. So again, I'm sketching using a sketching motion to darken what I have. And you can see that it's starting to show up a little bit better. circle and then a little circle within that so you can see the eye of the fish. Alright this part right here we're just going to have to play with a little bit so let me find my pencil. Okay I'm going to want this story to come out and see how I made like a little detail here Okay, yeah, let you have a closer look. Okay, that's the mouth. You can see the mouth sort of goes down. So, you might have to do that in pencil first like I did to make sure that you're happy with it. And then darken it. Okay. And then right around here, just a little black shading. 
Okay, so go ahead back to the pencil and you're sort of going to make a little V here. And I'll darken it as I go. And I'll grab my marker, darken it. Now again, if I'm going too fast, you're going to turn me off and you're just going to catch up. We're just going to do a little dot right there. Okay? Now if you go back to using your pencil lightly and so you're happy with it, you're going to make the fin at the top and for now you're just going to sort of draw a line here and then bring this up right here. So as I darken it you'll see that a little bit better. Okay? There's that. Now I'm going to watch the motion I do here. It's sort of going to be I stop and just give a little bit of a curve and when I get here I'm going to sort of bring it out like this. Okay? And then I'm going to do two of these at the bottom. So I'm going back to my pencil to make sure I get it right. Okay. Nice and light. And I'll darken it so you can see. sketchy motion, you don't have to, you can just make a straight clean line. Alright, and back to my pencil again for the last fin right here in this section. I'm going to take it down and take it up like that. And you can see as I darken it what it's going to look like. Now I'm going fast because I have less than 10 minutes to draw this fish, but you can stop and take your time on these parts. Okay? So we have the basic outline of the fish, and we're going to take our pencil again and do a little bit of the details here. Right here, you're going to make one, two, three, and those would be scales. Okay? And then you're going to take your pencil and we're going to do one more fin and that's going to be right here at the bottom you're going to take kind of like a C motion here and then you're going to dip down a little bit of a curve here like that okay let me darken this less than two minutes here so I want to show you a couple little items that you want to do. You want to take each, I'm going to use my marker actually, you can use your pencil if you want to do it in pencil first. You want to make some lines where your fins are. so I can show you the final drawing. What you want to do for the scales, if you take and make sort of like a C motion, okay, see how I made these two C's? I'm going to make a C right here in between them. And then I'm just going to keep on sort of switching off and on. I got C's and then I make, a, not exactly a C, but a little bit of a C. And I just keep on going. Okay, so here's a close look at that. You can see there's a lot more detail, but that really just means it's going to take you a little bit more time. It's not really hard to do. So you want to just keep on going. All the way down. Okay, so here's what it's going to look like at the end. actually look through the other way that's all right but you can see I took all these down this way got all my lines going here then I colored it in and there's our fish <laughs>